It is January 13th. Here in no man's land again. It snowed. It snowed all night. So we can kind of see where the chaff has fallen out to. See along the side here and then along the front. And we'll be able to back that on into the uh, into a little bunker there. But today, we're going to be collecting more of the grass that we left out in the field last night. Actually, I haven't checked my... Let's see how these are doing. 88? 88 tomatoes? Okay. And then let's check the price for... Not stones. There's nowhere to sell stones right now. Silage, there it is. Um, 189 per thousand right now. So, 189 per thousand weight, and we have right now in the silo before we fix the spillage, we have 15,000. So we have about little little under three thousand dollars worth of silage in the silo right now. In the in the patch, I, I mean the pit. I don't I don't know what to really call it. It's not really a bunker silo. I mean it kind of is, but all right. And we'll do a quick run over of it while we go this way with the forge wagon attached, just because that's some extra weight. It'll compact it a little bit more. There we go. Lost a little bit more, but you know. We'll just collect it up and toss it back onto the silo, onto the pile, recompact it. I wonder, I wonder, let's see, where is silo compaction? Hmm. Silo should be compacted faster with this stuff. Or, also, this. This would actually help a lot. We'd be able to back up over it and straighten it on out, push it back into the silo. But the only way we could really use that is hooking it to the back of this tractor, and that's not really going to work out too well, I don't think. Be a little difficult to control. So it looks like the snow fell pretty hard, but at least the grass is still available to be picked up out here. Not getting that weird thing happening where <laughs> the grass just flopped down after bringing the, the mower back. I don't know how much it is going to snow today. So it looks like it'll melt around 11, 12 o'clock, and then it's going to snow again. I really think we should try and get up to 11,000 and buy one of those wind turbines, the little wind turbine generators, just because of how, how hard the wind's going to be blowing basically for the rest of the month, it looks like almost. Snow's making it a little difficult. Pull this thing up. But yeah. Let's get this, uh, let's get this show on the road here. Kind of clean up the outsides of the this section. And clean up around the trees.
think once we're done wind rowing this here, we'll go from the top down. Start at the top, work our way down. That'll make it a bit easier to uh, to turn the turn the tractor with the forage wagon around instead of having to work our way uphill. We'll just make it easy. And then we'll see what the fill level is looking like so far. That's looking good. Now we just gotta pick it up, drop it into the silo, see how much we got after we compact it. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop the wind rower here for now. Can't, can't forget to bring it back to the vehicle shelter though. Don't want to leave it out here too long. We've already got a pretty good amount inside the, the wagon. We'll see what uh what we end with here. Makes uh, two trips here. Looks like looks like a possible two trip thing here. That'll be good. Just 
that much more to be able to sell later on. It's definitely a two-trip thing, so we'll just head back to the the pit, drop it in, maybe compact it a bit. Hopefully, I can kind of spread out the the dumping portion, so that way it's not not so much of a hill. Let's see what we can do. Let's see, let's see. Oh, wow, getting stuck. Getting stuck. There we go. So that's what happened last time, is I got stuck. I didn't drive, I guess, fast enough or something. Um, let's go ahead and drop this right now. we got to flatten this out before we even think about trying to drop another load down on this. What's the fill level at now? 31,000? Right. Yeah, we definitely got to drive, drive over this a bit to get it a little flat. It's gonna. It's definitely gonna push some out the side, and out the front there or the back, depending on how you how you look at it. My nice little tractor's doing pretty good at uh, compacting it down. So, well, sort of. But if we can make it a bit flatter, we can run over it with the with the forge wagon. That'll just make it a little easier to to compact it with the weight of the forge wagon on the back there. Honestly, probably, probably go attach the wind drawer for a little bit of extra weight. In fact, let's let's, let's go grab that since we're not using it right now. We're probably not going to use it the rest of the day. Uh, if anything, the rest of the day is just going to consist of compacting that pile down, uh, trying to get the loose stuff on the outside, and compacting it back down again, and then chopping chopping up those trees that I chopped down couple days ago, and, uh, yeah, getting those ready to, getting those ready to sell. So let's grab this. A little bit of extra weight, I think. Doesn't really tell you, but I know we can just check it here. Oh yeah, I forgot, I need to be checking the sales every single day, see if there's anything I can actually get. Let's see, the wind rower is... It's another 298 kilograms, so a little bit of extra weight, not not anything crazy. Um, kind of wondering if the wind rower can maybe move the, uh, if I do this and then run along the side here, maybe the wind rower can <laughs> basically wind row the chaff back in. It's worth a shot, worth a try. No, it doesn't do that. That's too bad. A little unfortunate. But I mean I wasn't thinking it was really going to, but might as well give it a shot. Alright, so let's run this over quite a bit. Get it as flat as we can here.
was kind of strange. Um, so we're gonna just drop this, drop the wind rower off. And then grab the wagon, run over it a few more times there. Because I think it should, it should be fine to run over it now. Although it doesn't look like I'll get caught up on anything. If I could just go really fast over it. Compacts it a lot faster. I can definitely tell the difference. like we're really going to have to clean up the sides a bit here along the edges of the silo because we're losing losing a lot to the outsides here. Maybe we should have sprung for the bigger one. It might have made things a bit easier. So we'll shoot for about 60% compaction. Pushing a lot out here. That makes it a bit harder to see the what we're missing. But 60% compaction, that should make it a bit a bit nicer to to dump the rest of the grass on. Should do it for now. Got about 61% compacted. I'm just gonna go grab the rest of the grass off the meadow up here and then continue compacting and moving all the grass and the chaff and the, and the silo. And that'll probably take the rest of the day, honestly. Seems like it will. It's a tough work. Let's get to it. All right, so a little over 3,500 grass, 3,500 liters of grass. It's not too bad there. See how much how much of a fill level we can really get here. I know there's, there's just so much just on the outside. We've lost quite a bit to being pushed out of the silo. And it's going to kind of make it a bit of a problem when we want to compact it down as much as possible. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start like roughly in the middle. I want to say. go. We'll just spread it nice and nice and even there. And then we'll do this. We'll grab what we can along the sides. Off the sides here. Yeah, just like that. Fill this up. Clean up the clean up the, the edges of the silo here, or the pit. I'm gonna call it the pit. It's not really a silo. You know, it's under the silos, but I'd say the bunker silos would be the concrete ones, the nice big cr uh, concrete. 
concrete bunker silos. This is more of a silage pit, or uh, a pit silo. Oh wow, stuck on something here. There we go. Let's see. Drive forward. What is going on here? There we go. Get off of that. Relax. Relax. Then we'll spin around, clean up this side, and hopefully we don't have to deal with this too much. So what it looks like is about 6,000 outside of the, the pit there, but I think there might be a little bit more further out. Maybe. Yeah, just a just a little bit more. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just gonna detach from that and we'll start running it over. And I know we're gonna lose we're gonna lose some more again. But it's yeah, it's it's gonna be kind of a pain to to get as much into this as possible, but maybe if we just you know drive so close to the edges here. No, that's really hard to do. It's a very small little pit here. Yeah, it really likes to spew it out the sides, doesn't it? Yeah, we should have should have sprung for the bigger silo, I think. A little late for it now, though. But we'll compact this down as much as possible, and then we'll dump the rest of it on here, and then compact it down again, and again if need be. We'll do it and do it until it works. That's the plan. Probably won't be able to get all of it, which is a little unfortunate because I don't think you can really sell chaff on this map. Uh, at least at the farm shop, you can't. We had some more weight on this tractor, it would kind of work out a little better. But this is basically kind of just how it's going to have to work. We're not going to be able to, it's not going to be able to be perfect or anything. And that's alright. You know, it never, never will be. We could try to get it as good as possible, but. Trying to get it perfect, that's just unrealistic. We definitely don't want to waste any of this chaff, though. Make sure we pick it up. But I think I want to try and get this to 100% compacted before trying to add more on top. So it's gonna take a minute. So why don't we just why don't we just go ahead and speed up this part while I do this?
Okay, so that's at 100%. So now it's time to grab the wagon, pick up the excess, and try and dump it back on. And see if we can compact it without losing as much this time. So far, the, the fill level's at a pretty pretty nice amount, 26,000. Uh, I'd like it to be around 30, but that might not be a possibility. Um, we'll just have to see what, what can be done about that. Because I know it, it's, it's just kind of dumping it out the sides and out the front and back. Because, I mean, uh, this, this chaff I have right now is it's over 7,000. That's quite a bit that could be turned into silage. I would like all of it to be turned into silage if possible. But, like I said, I know that's probably unrealistic. Okay, so I'm so There we go. Come on. Get off the edge. Get off the edge, you. I'll tell you what I need out here is a light of some sort, some sort of a uh, lamp or something, so I can see. I'll have to look into getting one. Just about, just about time to, to call it a day, though. A little unfortunate that this is there's just so much here that uh, did I just run it over without picking it up? Oh, I lifted the <laughs> I lifted the collection thing. Darn it! Okay, let's get along this edge here. Oh yeah, I mean there's a that's a lot to just leave on the ground there. I want this to be silage for sure. It's a little over a thousand dollars right there just sitting there. At the current silage prices. And I think the silage might jump up a little bit here in February. Jan uh, a little late January, early February. So, all right, let's dump it back on there, and then run it over a bunch of times. Again. <laughs> oh, we're losing some more. Oh no, it's already happening. Okay, we'll probably, like I said, we'll just end up having to blanket what we can, and then save the rest of it for. A little later. Maybe maybe we'll be able to get a bigger a bigger silage uh, pit, as it were. Yeah, we'll definitely have to get a bigger silage pit. So that, that one's just not gonna do. That's a lot that just falls out the sides there. But let's put away the uh, let's put away the wagon for now. It'd be easier if I could just do bales, but obviously I don't have the equipment or money to get started with bales. Instead, bales would be easier, however. All right, let's get the uh, let's get the wind rower. Add a little bit of extra weight on the back. start running this thing over, compact it as much as we can with the time allotted, and then we'll have to call it a day from there. Yeah, 35,000. I don't want to lose that much. I'll try to not drive so much towards the edge here, so this, this might take quite a bit longer than usual. 
I'll just speed this part up, eh? and forth, back and forth we go, trying to avoid that, that back edge there, that back opening, because it seems like the opening, well, the front opening to me, back opening, would be technically behind me, but that opening in front of me, that one seems to drop more, uh, drop more out of it than the back one here, So trying to avoid going too close to it. 93%, so we're almost done here. Uh, just in time for just in time for dinner and bed. So we'll just speed up this last little bit. Oh man, lost a little bit more. Darn it. And we'll just speed up this last little bit of the percentage points of the compaction. And then we'll call it a night. This might be this might be about eight thousand dollars right here, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, lost a little more. If I keep losing some, it's not gonna be that much. Ah, and I lost some out the back now too. So now I'm just gonna have to do little tiny little tiny amounts. Yeah, I should have went with the I should have went with the large version of this. It would have been a lot easier. Okay, can we blanket it while... Okay, so it look, yeah, it looks like it blanketed the back portion as well. So in the morning, we will pick up that chaff along the sides there and just uh, go over to the, what do you call it, the, the bale shed, and we'll drop off all that chaff over there in just a big pile. And then we'll also we'll also work on getting that tree chopped up. Yeah. So we we ended it with about thirty-four. I'm I'm just gonna round it to thirty-four thousand. So with the current silage prices, yeah, it's about six thousand three hundred and ninety-two dollars at this current price for silage. And this is an okay price for silage. I think uh if we can get somewhere in the realm of $200 per thousand weight, that'd be even better, but we'll have to see what happens when the time comes. But that is it for today, everybody. Thanks for stopping by the homestead, and we will see you next time. Have a great night, everyone.